Becky, and this weekend we're going to Leeds for a two-day ballet intensive put on by the Ballet Retreat at Leeds Northern Ballet. I got onto the train at Liverpool Lime Street and it was a gloomy day, but the train ride was super comfortable and everything looks so verdant this time of year. I have been to this retreat before, but that time it was only a one day event, so I'm both nervous and excited for this one and to push myself a little bit. Hotel room tour. So this is the bathroom. I was really hoping it would have a tub so I can soak after each um, day. That'll be really nice for my muscles. It has a nice big mirror over here. I kind of love the size of this bathroom. I have to build something like this for some of my Sims. <laughs> Um, the room is small, but it's just comfortable. It's just for sleeping like the intensive is from 930 to 530 every day, so I really won't even be in here much this weekend, but the bed looks squashy and comfortable More mirrors my puff vest and it's me. Ya yeah, beach. I'm going to unpack some of my stuff This is all my ballet stuff um, My yoga mat and such like that. There's plenty of space for that over in the corner. We're gonna get comfortable maybe hang out on my PC for a bit, order some food in, and we'll see how the night goes. I'm gonna make sure to get plenty of sleep so that I'm not exhausted tomorrow. See you later. Bye. Ooh, it looks very wet and rainy. Thank goodness I did check the weather in advance, and I do have an umbrella. <laughs> Good morning. So it is morning one uh, of the ballet intensive. It is about 9.30 when the doors open to the studios and to Northern Ballet. Um, and my hotel is only about a 10 minute walk. So I'm gonna walk over. Um, I've gotten ready. You can't really tell in this light, but I'm wearing this Suffolk Leo. It's one of my favorites. So I'm Victoria's Secret shorts to walk over there and my jacket. It is rather rainy outside, which is not ideal, but I'm all packed in all my ballet stuff. I'm going to grab my bag and my leg warmers and my puff and we're going to head out. Oh, and I have a different warm up jacket. Which jacket do you think? The black jacket or this jacket? Sorry, that's obnoxious. Um, I'm probably gonna wear the black jacket because I can't be bothered to put on a different jacket at this point. <laughs> The vibes today feel like it's fall, but I promise it's spring. <laughs> from my hotel which was super nice but I kept stopping to take videos because the area was so cute and it almost made me late.
of protein bars are from my friend Celine in Norway and they are so tasty but I only have a few left so this weekend I've had to ration them. After morning class we had a break for a snack and a stretch before we begin to work on our repertoire. From the music, can you guess what variation this is? If you hadn't guessed, the variation is Kitri's third act from Don Quixote. It is very fun to do, even if it was very hard on my calves. Hi guys! Hello, Rebecca! We just finished lunch and we're all running through choreo. Um, we'll probably do a cute warm up. And actually, we normally have this whole studio, so this is like a barrier. And on the other side of the studio, the company, Northern Ballet, is rehearsing um, some performance. Look at this sweaty mess, but I'm going to um, currently warm up for the afternoon session, mm -hmm. and then I think we finish at like 5 or 5.30. of like meatless places and vegan places and just like cool old buildings and such it's just a really cool place um and there's like so many murals just all over the place um i've ordered some kebab i have bought some water green juice and ginger biscuits. I'm about to go back to the hotel and soak my feet in my collapsed bucket and lay in the horizontal position. <laughs> As God intended. I got back and took up all my stuff. Um, I'm gonna have some turmeric and ginger tea to help with inflammation. I also bought some ginger tea at the shops, green juice for tonight and in the morning. The recipe for this green juice is quite different to what the recipe is in the US, which is kind of sad because it's my favorite of the flavors. Um, two liters of water because I definitely did not drink enough water today. And some ginger snacks. I also have a massive kebab on the way, which is very exciting. So I just boiled some water. I'm going to pop 
top up my bucket and I'm going to put in some boiling water and then just some regular warm water and soak my feet. This is probably the best purchase I have made recently. and people in this freaking hallway are yelling and screaming and banging on the doors and just like <sighs> last night there was a fight and someone pulled the fire alarm at 1 30 in the morning and tonight there's all this screaming and stuff going on like <laughs> The reason I stayed at a hotel was so that I could sleep early and be comfortable for all the work that I'm going to have to do tomorrow. And I can't even sleep. My God, please. <sighs> How tired I am. I am currently very annoyed. I called downstairs to let them know that there's some bullshit going on up here so she said they would um send up security guys pray for me hopefully i can get at least one good night's sleep you know feeling quite good. I soaked my feet and ankles again in some really hot water this morning. So everything is already warm to walk to the studio. I'm gonna leave now so I have a good 30 minutes to an hour to really stretch and warm up my body because last night I was really stiff. Um, I did have to call down to reception last night because there was some hullabaloo going on in my hallway but didn't usually get sleep. I'm excited for day two, but also just really tired at this point. Um, I'm taking my green juice with me. My bag is packed and ready to go. Oh, let me not forget my yoga mat, and we can be on our way. Let's go. to this entire studio from the morning, which is nice. We can really spread out for class. Um, getting ready for class, I've claimed a bar spot near the pianist. We are so fortunate to have a live pianist for all class and variations this weekend, and he is marvelous. My calves this morning were so sore. They literally felt like bricks. I thought I was walking like a penguin, so a good stretch was definitely necessary before we began our 90 minute class. a plie 
days for you guys and be nice to me because I'm still not at all limber while I'm doing them. All right, guys, so we have some dance.
up we walk. Walk up. I want to drop that pelvis underneath. Good. Coming down. Turning around, other side, lovely. Two cats lifting, second position, lift. Today's class was a killer, but it needed to be for us to fully warm up and be limber. But dang, <laughs> class is finished. <sighs> I'm so sweaty. <laughs> Gonna go have a snack. One, two, one more. After a bit of a break for a snack and stretch, we're back to variation work. I'm just throwing on my warm ups and booties while the guys get to do their run through. Yes. The best yeah. part of this variation four, is the one, fans, two, three, four, and then I could one, cool one, myself one, down two, when I got super sweaty. We did an hour of variation work and then broke for lunch. This entire weekend, lunch was catered as well as some snacks, and the selection was superb. But I tried to dip out a little early and head back to the studio to stay warm and somewhat flexy for the afternoon. We're going to have another hour or two session, and then we get to perform the variation in small groups. I'm lifting my arms from both sides down. Up and down. Still down. for it and everything don't worry uh, but I didn't film the final performance for you guys because I wasn't really feeling confident enough. 
But here you can watch me wobble through marking. I sped up the footage a bit for time's sake. I was just so tired by now. My feet, my ankles, my calves, gosh. I have no idea how professionals do it because this key tree variation comes towards the end of like a two and a half hour ballet. How they manage to stay up and tall and lifted and everything is just a testament to how strong ballerinas are. Watching this footage, I feel a little disappointed in myself, I have to admit. I wish I was stretching my knees, I wish I was further up on my demi point, I wish I could yell at myself to get my knee up in my passe and really lift and be, stand tall and pull up and all these things. From behind the editing lens, everything looks a bit lazy, but I know the me in this video is exhausted and trying her best and just marking through it and trying to remember the choreo. And I guess my internal monologue is not always the nicest, but you're doing great! <laughs> Each group got to perform twice, and I felt like mine improved the second time around, so I was really happy with that. I remembered to breathe, and I had fun. We had a little break before a cool down and floor stretches and bar, and I can't iterate this enough that I'm exhausted, but it was a great weekend, and I had so much fun. out with the weather because it was supposed to be rainy this afternoon but it's just 
glorious. and didn't change so like a nub I'm wearing my yoga mat and I'm still wearing like my leg warmers and stuff but I was just too tired to change so I'm just gonna go back to the hotel wait for my Uber Eats because I ordered another Slovakia and get in my bucket of hot water <laughs> hotel it's this red building right here featuring green juice I've taken my sweet time walking back this time <laughs> to get some cute photos film a TikTok, and also hopefully my delivery order well it's only about five minutes away but how lovely is this location and it was only a 10 minute walk from Northern Valley so I definitely might stay at this one again chicken Slovakia has been secured <laughs> you know what time it is Ooh, it's time to soak my feet time I'm also having some tea some more turmeric and ginger to help with inflammation and swelling and I'm going to try to finish this green juice tonight and I'll drink that one tomorrow mainly for the vitamins after soaking my feet I had a nice bath I'm gonna do a face pack oh no stick yeah and hopefully for the first time in a few days get like a proper proper night's sleep you know but we'll see tomorrow we head home to Liverpool Good morning. It is Monday at 8.30 ish in the morning. Um, I am all packed. I'm ready to go catch my train to head back to Liverpool after a glorious but strenuous and hard weekend in Leeds this morning. My entire body just feels heavy and exhausted and I can't imagine how this is gonna go in the summer when I do a two-week intensive in the U.S. <laughs> Stay tuned for that one. I will try to film as much of that one as well as possible. I've got a train to catch so I need to get out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!